Hi guys, welcome back. So I just wanted to do a quick guide on how to create your own DIY capsule solution for the force of nature. My last video was a little long. I think it was about 20 minutes. And so I just wanted to create this to show you um, really quickly how to check the pH, how to measure the salt and the vinegar, and to then check your pH at the end. If you're new to force of nature, then I suggest you watch my other video first before this one. This one is going to just really quickly show you uh, how to create your own capsule liquid. But if you have more questions about force of nature, I'll go ahead and link um, my other video down below. That one is going to be a slower video and talk a little bit more about the actual product force of nature. This one's super quick step-by-step -step guide of how to create your own capsule solution. We have the force of nature, the little device right here. We're going to be using a scale. Uh, remember that your scale needs to go to 0 0.01 grams. Um, that's really important because you want to get a precise measurement for the salt. I also have um, my pH strips and you can find these on Amazon really cheap. I'll also link below all these supplies, um, but feel free to find what you think would be best for you. Um, and then also the chlorine strips. These chlorine strips are H-Y-D-R-I-O-N. And these ones are really great because they go up to a thousand. And I haven't really found a lot on Amazon. Actually, this is the only one I found on Amazon that goes up to a thousand, which is kind of nice because lately I've been getting 500 um, parts per million, but I've decreased the salt a little bit and I'm getting closer to the 250. And um, as we know, Fawn says that their solution, I think it's between 200 and 220 parts per million um, for the free available chlorine. So this is a good one to test as well, just to know the strength of the solution. The pH is going to tell us um, how close it is to being high, uh, hypochlorous acid. Um, the pH for um, hypochlorous acid, you want to be about 5.5 is ideal. And Fawn says that theirs is 5.5. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here is where the pH strips come in handy. So if you want, if this is your first time doing it, you may wanna test um, your actual water and see what pH your water is. I've tested mine before. My, this is just plain water in here. I have not added the solution yet. Um, and when I test it, it usually comes, well, I shouldn't say usually, it always comes to seven. So you can see here, kind of hard to see. Hopefully you can see it's close to seven and usually it will turn a little bit darker green. And so I know that my water that I use is a seven. So here's my little scale. I just took it out of the box. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And I'm just gonna use a little medicine, medicine cup to measure and turn this on. The salt that I'm using is the um, Diamond Crystal Kosher Salt. This one does not have any additives. So again, you're gonna wanna make sure that the ingredients are just salt. Some people use pickling salt. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and measure the salt here. Um, our estimates from um, checking the capsules and letting it evaporate were about was about 0.7 grams, but that's also giving us 500 parts per million. And we wanna be closer to 200 parts per, mil per million. So I'm going to um, go a little bit lower. Lately, I've been going closer to 0. 0.6 grams. So right now it's at 0. 0.5 and, oh, a little bit too high. 0.65, I mean, I could run this and it wouldn't be a big deal, but I'll go ahead and take a tiny bit out. 0.61, all right, I think that's pretty close. So as you can see, the salt is weighing at 0.61 grams. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the tear button. So then we're back to zero. And this is such a big thing of vinegar. Again, this is 5% acidity, this vinegar. I'm gonna go ahead and just pour a tiny bit in a little cup because it's so hard to get such an accurate reading. So this vinegar, I think that it is a little bit more acidic than my last vinegar, because last time I ran this, I only needed to put it at four grams, and in my previous video, it was closer to six and a half grams. That's why it's important to be checking the pH, because like I said, I've been using both 5% vinegar, but this one is just a little bit more potent. It might be because it's fresher, because it's a new bottle. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour my vinegar in here slowly. I'm gonna go for four grams. We're at two. And three. Just need a little bit more vinegar. All right, we're at 3.98, so I'm gonna call that good because it's hard to get 
um, any more precise than that when you're just putting little drips in. Okay, so we added the vinegar and it is 3.98 grams. So for my vinegar, I know with my water, I'm gonna need about four, so that's pretty close. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up really well. Make sure all the salt is um, dissolved. That's really important. And once I notice all of the little salt crystals gone, then I'm gonna go ahead and pour it right into my Force of Nature device. All right, so I just poured it in, and sometimes I'll do this just to mix it really quickly um, when I'm in a rush and I don't have like time to let it just sit and make sure it mixes because it's not really easy to like move this around and mix it. So <laughs> sometimes I will do that and then I know that the vinegar is kind of mixed in with the water well. Okay, so I'm gonna take my other pH strip. Again, you saw that I cut the, I like ripped these in half because why not, right? <laughs> They'll last longer. All right, so I just got this one wet with the vinegar and water and I'm waiting for it to turn. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. It is really close to five and really close to four. To me, I would say this is probably about four and a half. And that is what I have noticed works when I run this machine. Um, if I do between four and five pH, then after I run it, it ends up being about 5.5, about between five and six. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in, hit the button, run it, and then afterwards we'll check the pH one more time. So this just finished. We're gonna go ahead and check the pH really quick. Let me pull my strips back out. We'll check the pH of this one. And here's my little guide. And it definitely looks like it is between five and six, maybe a little closer to six. But either way, I'm really happy with this. I think that this will be the perfect um, solution for cleaning. All right, so my solution is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my spray bottle. I just added the solution to my bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and check the um, free build available chlorine using the hydron strips. And let's see what we get here. All right, so if we look, it's really close. I would say it's about 250, maybe 300. Hopefully you're able to see here. It's not quite as dark as the 500, but not as light as the 250. So I could probably decrease the salt a little bit more, um, but I would say it's probably about 300 or so. So, um, that's ready to use um, and that's how fast and simple it is to be able to make this. It's important to me that the pH ends about between 4 and 6 but really 5.5 .5 is ideal so between 5 and 6 is what I'm aiming for and I did achieve that with this so this is ready for me to use in my home. So hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye!